Psalm 25, King James Version, a Psalm of David. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Ye, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in, my, in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God, the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. Accordingly to, according to thy mercy, remember thou me for my goodness' sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? He shall he, him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and upright uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Psalm 26 the Psalm of David. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash mine hands in innocent in innocency. So will I compass thine altar, O Lord, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. <clears throat> but as for me, I will walk in mine integrity. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place. In the congregations will I bless the Lord. Psalm 27, the Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and, all, and to inquire in His temple. For in, excuse me, for in the time of trouble He shall hide me in His, in His pavilion, in His pavilion, 
in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon the rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing ye, I will sing praises unto the Lord. O he, um, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not ever unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had, be I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 28, a psalm of David. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle or toward the oracle of thy sanctuary. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give, give them according to their deeds and according to <coughs> the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them, a, give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Psalm 29, a psalm of David. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the, the cedars. Ye, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to ship like to he make he maketh them also to skip like a calf. Um, like a calf. Lebanon and Sharon and uh, Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The voice the, the Lord shaketh the wilderness of of Kadesh. of Kad, um, Kadesh. <coughs> Excuse me. The voice of the Lord maketh the hills to calve, and discovereth and discovereth the, the forests, and in his temple doeth every one speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth upon the flood, he, the Lord sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30, a psalm and song at the dedication of the house of David. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave, thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. 
Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness, for his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girdled me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Psalm 31 To the chief musician, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine, uh, thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. In thy, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, with grief, ye, my soul and my belly, for my life is spent with grief, and my ears with, with sighing. My strength faileth because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach, a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance, they that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trust in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My, time, my times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O how great is thy goodness! which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in, the, in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off, from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou, thou, thou heardest my, the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, all ye his, uh, his saints, for the Lord preserveth the, for the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. <sighs> Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. And ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 22, a psalm of David, Matthew. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. 
Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not in iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the long, all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not, they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee. I will instruct thee and teach thee. In the way which thou shalt go, I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse, or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous. And shout for joy, all ye that are upright in the heart. Okay, let's read a bit of a proverbs. Still have a bit of time.、Um, proverbs, yeah. I but、uh, as far as I can remember, last time I stopped at、um, you know, last time when I read proverbs, I I stopped at. Chapter、um, Chapter Four, yeah. So yeah, Proverbs Chapter Four, KJV. Hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding, for I give for I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. When I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing; therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy and and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. When thou doest, when thou doest, when thou doest or doest, embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall he deliver to thee. O hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be、um, straitened,、um, straitened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her go. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of the of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness; they know not at what they know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words; incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes; keep them in the midst of thy heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and hew and and hewth to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, with all diligence, for out of out of it are the are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth. And preserve and perverse lips put far from thee. 
Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path, the path of thy feet, and let all thine ways be established. Turn not to the turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Chapter five, my song, my son, attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding, that that thou mayest regard discretion, that and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, as a honeycomb, as a honey, um, comb, comb, <laughs> and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death; her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, that thou canst not know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come and come and. Come, and、um, come not nigh the door of her house, lest thou give thy honor unto others and thy ears unto the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger, and thou mourn at the last, when the, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of thy own、um, system, and is it called system or cistern? And running waters out of thy own own well. Let. Thy fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thy own, and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as a loving head, and pleasant roll. Let her breasts satisfy. Let let her breasts satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished. Always with her love, and why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of a, a man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. Chapter six, my son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast、um, strengthened thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou when thou art come into the hand of thy friend, go humble thyself and make sure thy friend give not sleep to thine eyes. Nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the the fowler. Go to the ant, thou um, thou、um, sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Which, having no guide, overseer, or or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gather and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt, when wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, yet a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. <laughs> so shall thy poverty come as one that travelleth, and thy want as an armed man, a naughty, a naughty person, a wicked man walketh with a fro, with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes; he speaketh with his feet; he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth; he deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly he shall he be broken with remedy. 
these six, six things do do the Lord hate ye seven are an abomination abomination unto him a proud look a lying tongue uh, and hands that sh that shed that shield that shed innocent blood and heart that divide that deviseth wicked imaginations feet that be swift in running to mischief a false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren my son <clears throat> keep thy father's com commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother bind them continually upon thy heart and tie them about thy neck when thou goest it shall lead thee when thou sleepest it shall keep thee and when thou awakest it shall talk with thee for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instructions are the way of life to keep thee from the evil woman from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman lust not after her beauty in thy heart neither let her take thee with her eyelids for by means of a whorish woman a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for a precious life can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes and his clothes not be burned can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned so that he goeth into into his neighbor's wife whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent men do not despise a thief if he still to satisfy his soul when he is hungry but if he be found he shall restore sevenfold he shall give all the substance of his house but whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding he that he that doth it destroyeth his own soul a wound and dishonor shall he get and his repro reproach shall not be whipped away shall, shall not be wiped away for jealousy is the rage of a man therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance he will not regard any ransom neither will he rest content though thou givest many gifts oh my god it takes so much strength so maybe i should find myself some 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 day i should find another day to read the whole book of you know the revelation in one single attempt in one single video perhaps let's see what i can do anyway guys thank you very much for watching and listening take care stay faithful remain steadfast and stay tuned and continue to hold the line with me thanks again for thank thank you very much for watching and listening i, shall, I hope to see you guys in the next videos on youtube if god willing and good night betty bye cheers